this means come for butt scratch. Look how well she listens. Damn. What a well trained cat. You embarrassed me in front of everybody. Pillow talk. Hey everyone, welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday. Clothesline. Oh my god. <laughs> What's, What's up? up? Today we're talking about something that happens to everyone in the world, especially baby dykes. What are you doing? <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to, I did it the wrong way and then I couldn't. You've done this in a pillow talk before and you still can't figure it out. It was like two years ago. You got it. Good for you and your tiny penises. So anyways. Um, this is what the girls like these days. That's how you sex. When people say, how do lesbians have sex? Just do that. It's pretty much it. That's what I do. I just come at girls and I'm like, yo, girl. <laughs> That's a great segue into talking um, about moving in with your girlfriend. Yeah, everyone does it eventually. Yep, and um, I guess the biggest question that everyone has is, when is too soon? And you know what, that's a trick question because as lesbians, that doesn't exist. Never too soon. Lesbian relationships are like cat years, not dog years. But cat years, like, accelerate. Like, when cats... In their cat's first, like, couple years? In the first year, don't they? It's like they go from one to, like, 17 in, like, yeah, one year. Yeah, in one year. And then they but slow down. But then they down. slow down. And then they're, like, only maybe, like, four years that's, every year. That's a lesbian relationship. So in that one year that you're together, you've you actually been explode. together for 17 years. That's We've only down. known each other for three weeks and we're moving in. Is it too fast? It isn't. Because it's actually been five years. Yeah. Like, well, for example, when you're moving in, when you're moving in, like, like furniture, furniture, it's exciting to go to Ikea and yeah. buy furniture together. It's like a rite of passage for moving in with whoever you're dating. Ikea? Like, the mandatory Ikea. Ikea wouldn't exist if it weren't for lesbians. But here's the catch, okay, is that you're all excited, you've picked out furniture, you're going back home, and only one of you is actually putting that furniture together. If you think it's going to be a team effort and you're going to be all cutesy putting it together, uh, you're not. Look at your partner. You know which one of you is building that Ikea furniture. Yeah, and which one is just going to sit and read the instructions. And not do anything. But when you move in with someone, you're like, everything they do is just so cute. And you're just so happy because you're in that, like, honeymoon stage. Yeah, you, where you just spend like, all your time together. And then the, the mandatory, like, every lesbian who has to sign a lease has a cat included in the lease. Oh, yeah. That's a given. You can't rent a lesbian apartment without a cat being involved. And that's, they're lesbian apartments. They're not apartments. They're specifically lesbian apartments. I don't know if you, if you, if you know that apartments are labeled, but everything pretty much has a label. How can you tell what a lesbian apartment is? You get the lease. There's a cat in the lease. The lease term is forever. And when you go into the apartment, it smells like wood chips. I don't know why, but it's just something Probably that happens. Probably lesbians built it. They built it with their bare lesbian hands. Also, in your, like, congratulations, you have an apartment welcome package, you just get an Ikea catalog. Because they know you're going to build everything. Do you know something that happens when you move in with your girlfriend? Is you shower together. That gets old real quick. <laughs> I give that two months, and then you're just like, get the fuck away, I'm freezing. Go stand at the end of the tub. I want the hot water. And you're fucking fighting over that hot water. But like the worst thing that you could do when you're living with your girlfriend too is like have her catch you watching Netflix by yourself. Right? Especially when it's something that's on your list. Oh yeah. You are binge watching Orange is the New Black together. She comes home, she sees you on Netflix. She's like, why is the most recently watched Orange is the New Black when we just watched Gilmore Girls together? That's immediate breakup. That's it. It's over. Your relationship is over. Over. Sadie has poo on her face. Ew. <laughs> Actually, though, what is happening with your face? She, like, uses the litter box and then gets, like, a Simba. I think she grabs it with her paw and she, like, puts it she into her, her fucking brow. Thing. Ew! <laughs> it's everywhere. It's all over her paws. And Anyways. this little thing is what all of you have to look forward to as you become adult lesbians and dusty dykes. Little poo cats. Poo cats. <laughs> little poo cats. Leave a comment with, um, if you've moved in with your girlfriend, what the pros and cons are. Okay, thumbs up for roommates. 
We got some exciting news. We always have exciting news, though. We're just exciting people. Um, we do You Nows every week, so if you haven't watched us on You Now, follow us on Twitter, and you can find out when we're gonna be on You Now. Um, but because the Almost Adults full-length trailer is gonna be premiering at Buffer Festival on October 25th, we are gonna have the cast of Almost Adults on some You Nows with us. Uh-uh! So make sure you follow us to find out which cast member is going to be on you now on which day. And we'll see you gays next Pillow Talk Monday. We're not going to like it. We're going to complain about it the whole time. Hoping for one lesbian peck on the mouth. Yep. And then we're going to hate ourselves afterwards. People wonder why lesbians are angry. Is this not lying? <laughs>